Hello everyone, this is Syntax Error and welcome back to another plugin tutorial. So today what we're going to do is we are going to code a explosive bow into Minecraft. So we are going to go ahead and run the command give explosive bow and it will give us this explosive bow right here and you see that it has custom lore and everything. So what happens if we shoot an arrow is that it's going to create an explosion whenever the arrow lands. So that's the explosive bow, I guess. And let's get straight into the coding then. For the coding part, we are back in our custom items plugin, which we've looked at for the last three episodes from the custom item series, which we did like two months ago. So we are back in this. This is a continuous in the series. So a lot of things we've done from the past three episodes are still here. So first of all, we're going to go into our item manager and we're going to create our item stack first. So we're going to go down here. And we're going to create our public static item stack capitalization problems item stack and we're going to call it explosive bow with our semicolons then we're going to go all the way down here to create how the item will look like so we're going to go and create our private static void and we're going to name it create explosive bow put our brackets and now curly brackets then we're going to put Item stack, capitalization problems again, item stack, item equals to a new item stack, capitalization prob. Why do I keep having capitalization problems? And in the bracket, we're going to put the items material, which in this case will be a bow. So material dot bow. And we're going to put some amount as one. Put a semicolon and create our item meta meta equals to our item dot get item meta our brackets and finally our semicolon we are going to set our name of the item so meta dot set display name and we are going to put our brackets with our speech marks and we're going to go up here and we're going to copy and paste the color codes this one is with this symbol and a 5, which stands for purple, I guess. So we're going to type in explosive bow. Go outside and hit a semicolon. Then the next thing that we want to create is the lore of the item. So lore is slightly different. We have to create an array list for this. So list, and we're going to put string in our angle brackets, which specifies that we want to add strings into our array. So list string lore equals to a new array list with our angle brackets and finally our bracket and finally our semicolon. And then we're going to add strings, which is technically our lore into our list. So lore dot add. And in this case, we're going to paste back our color codes We're going to call it an epic item because why not? Um, we're, we're just, we're just going to follow Hypixel Skyblock style, lore.add, create our brackets, and this time we're going to paste our color code inside, but we're going to change the 5 into a 7, which stands for gray. So now we are going to say, um, creates an explosion, because why not? And we're going to put dot dot dot, put our semicolon, and we're going to set the lore. So meta dot set lore and in the brackets we're gonna put a lore semicolon and now we do not have to add anything else so we can technically do item dot set item meta as our meta inside the bracket and put our semicolon and finally we're gonna state that our explosive bow from up here is gonna be our item that we created here. So explosive bow equals to our item. And there we are, we are done with the customization of the item. And we're going to create our, we're, we're going to put our create explosive bow here inside the public static void in it, which technically stands for initialization. So there we have our item, which is created. Now we're going to move on to the commands. For the item commands, we are in our commands class and all these lines of code we discussed in the first episode of the series. So if you want to go check that out, the link to the video will be in the description. So for now, we are going to create the command. So 
So we're gonna do our if statement if our CMD dot get name capitalization problems once again get name dot equals ignore case. What this does is that it's gonna be comparing the command that the player entered. And by the way, the player has to be an op. So we're gonna compare it to give explosive bow. And what this line does is that it will it will compare the command that has been sent. If it is give explosive bow, it will run whatever codes inside this curly brackets over here. So in this case, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put player dot the the player is the person that send the is is the person that send the the command. So player dot get inventory dot add item and in the brackets we're going to put the item that we want to add into the player's inventory which is technically our explosive bow so item manager which is the class that we want to refer to which is also the class that we have all our items in so item manager dot explosive bow so whenever the player runs the command give explosive bow it'll give the player an explosive bow directly into his inventory. So the next step is that we have to go into our main class over here, and we are gonna have to do this dot get command, and we are going to put give explosive bow. This whatever we type in this will need to be the same as whatever we type here. So after this, we're gonna put dot set executor. And in the bracket, we're going to put new space commands, the brackets, and finally outside of all the brackets, a semicolon. Now, finally, we can go into our plugin.yml and um, how we get it is we're going to go into resources over here and get the plugin.yml um, just in case um, we do not know. So whatever we type here again under our commands list will also have to be the same as whatever we type over here and in our commands so we're just going to put give x i i i'm a very good speller i am i i am that i i'm not good at spelling at all and we're going to put description after we've typed our command and after the colon we're going to put this, the description as gives gives a x my grammar is bad as well. That's not the correct spelling. Gives an explosive bow to the player. Now finally, we're going to put usage with our colon. And we're going to put slash with an open angle bracket, command, and close angle bracket. So that's basically all the commands done. Now we're going to move on into our item's actual function now. So for the items function, we are into our item events .java class. And first of all, we have to make sure that our event class always needs to have an implements listener. The same thing goes for commands. We have to have an implements command executor. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to create at event handler. We must remember that every time we want to create a new event, we need to have at event handler, otherwise the codes won't work. So public void, in this case, we're going to put on projectile hit, which technically means whenever the arrow lands. So on projectile hit, and in the bracket, we're going to put projectile hit event, and we're going to put event next to it. And then we're going to put our curly brackets. So whenever a projectile which can be either an egg, a snowball, an arrow, or even a fireball hits the ground, it will run whatever code um, either hits the ground or hits an entity, which technically can be a player. So it will, it will run whatever codes are in these angle brackets. So first of all, we're gonna set that, we're gonna specify that we want the arrow to be an arrow. So arrow, arrow, we're going to name it arrow and we're going to put our brackets arrow and we're going to go through why we have to put an 
arrow in a bracket later. So we're going to put events.getEntity. And the reason why we have to put arrow in a bracket is because this event.getEntity will get whatever projectile is landed, whatever projectile landed. So in this case, it will return an entity and we have to make sure that it is an arrow so that you can get the shooter. So we have to specify that we want an arrow, not a fireball, not a, not, not a, I, I don't know, not, not a fireball or snowball. So after this, we are going to get the shooter. So player, player, and same thing with the arrow, we have to specify that we want a player and not any random entity. That's not the correct one. Arrow dot get shooter. So this gets um, the shooter of the arrow and the player inside the bracket will specify that we want the shooter to be a player and not a skeleton or a, or, or a stray in, in that case. So we're going to put our item stack item equals to our player dot get in inventory dot get item in main hand so capitalization problems again so what this line does is that we're gonna get the item that the player is holding then we're gonna do item meta meta equals to our item dot get item meta brackets and a semicolon finally and then we're gonna put a string name equals to our meta dot get display name so this three line capitalization problems again so these three lines of code just basically means that we're going to get the display name of the of the item that the player is holding and i just put in this way separated it so that um we don't get a massive line of code just there and it'll be confusing so the first thing that we're going to do is that we have to get the arrow's location. So whenever the arrow hits the ground, we have to get that location in order for us to summon the explosion there. So what we're going to do is location arrow lock, which stands for arrow location, equals to our arrow get location. So this gets where the location where the arrow landed. And finally, world world equals to our player dot get world now this is very important because we'll we'll need to use it in a second so first of all we're going to put our if statement if our name of the item that the player is holding is equals dot equals to our um speech marks first and we're going to go back into our item manager and copy and paste the entire thing because I am just bad at spelling, hence syntax error all the way. So, um, name dot equals explosive bow. If the player is holding an explosive bow, then we are gonna summon an explosion. So that's the wrong spelling again. World dot create explosion. That's the wrong spelling. And we're going to summon it at the arrow's location. And in this case, um, in after the comma, we're going to enter in how big the explosion will be. I am not that cruel of a person, so I'm going to put a 5. You can go 100 if you want to. And um, yeah, I, I think we know what will happen if we put 100. Then for this next one, we're going to put a boolean, which is either true or false. And this technically means that whether or not we want the explosion to set fire to its surroundings. So we do not want that. We do not want to burn down another forest. We're going to set false. And for last one, we are also going to set a true or false, which is also a boolean, whether or not we want the explosion to break blocks or destroy the terrain. We're also going to put false because we do not want players to grieve using this item. And we have to remember that we have to enter in the color code uh, when we are typing our item inside here because um, there will be the display name of the item. Um, and one other way that you can do it is that you can put dot contains and you won't have to put a color code. 
However, this will this might be a problem because the player can rename a normal bow into an explosive bow, and he will, and the player would be able to create explosion with a normal bow. So dot equals with a color code will make sure that it has to be the exact same bow. So that's um there was a few questions that was asked. Yeah, so that's technically the the item functions done. So we are gonna I'm gonna see you in the test server. All right, we are back in our test server, and we are just gonna go ahead and run the command give explosive bow, and it'll give us the bow with custom lore, custom name, everything. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot an arrow. So you'll see that quite a big explosion will 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 occur. I I guess if that's the correct word to use. Um, and it won't destroy the ground. And it won't give any fire. So if you go ahead and shoot an arrow to the squid, it would sh create an explosion there. And that's that. That's the explosive bow, I guess. Well, that's it for today's video, I guess. So thank you all for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It will be really much appreciated. So with that said, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you when I see you in the next video. Bye.